What is going on everybody? Welcome back to EU4 as France. I had some comments, some very useful, a very useful one actually, telling me a little bit about what to do. So um, mostly to focus on the estate privileges. Now I've got to uh, see, so what can we do? So add privilege out. Okay, so French stone duck, duchies, duchies, nearly got that wrong. So add privilege. Okay, so we've got an option. So I do, I, I, take, I need to pick one of these two, right? So modifies effects. Has no effects upon being granted. Clergy loyalty will change by 5%. Influence will change by 5%. We will lose 5 crown land. Max absolutism will change. Okay, or we could do religious state, in which case the clergy will be less loyalty. No more influential. We'll lose 10 crown land. And max absolutism will go down 5. So we'll gain 1 admin power or 100 governing capacity. Okay, let's let's do this. See what happens. Boom, and then oh, there's more options. Oh, there was another one. There was two more down here. There was lots more. Never mind. <laughs> Bear that in mind for the next one. <laughs> um, bourgeoisie. Oh, there's so many options. Do I just want to have like? Do I need all of them in? Do I want to have one? I don't know. I'll give them one each for now and see what you guys say. Bourgeoisie land rights. Governing capacity up 100. Loyalty up. Influence up. Is this influence? Yes. Oh, no. Nobility of it probably won't give any to the nobility. They're already pretty influential. Um, governing capacity that seems like something good, right? Summon the diet, seize land. Oh, interesting. Sale of titles, gain three hundred ducats, sell ten percent of crown land. Oh, okay, I understand this a little bit now. So we own twenty four percent of the land, so the nobility own fifty percent. That's too much, right? Probably. We need to sort of cut that down. Commercial advisory board, yearly prestige, has no further modifiers. This does not do anything. Grants this proven. Change loyalty by 10%. 10% more influence. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, go on then. We'll try that one. That's probably enough for now. Hit play. Low crown land. We are approaching a government reform. I've been told that's good, so we'll, we'll go ahead and do that. Oh, here we go. Reform available. Oh, this page, I did not see this page before. So, what do we get? So, a few auto. Okay, so we're here. So, I take it we're going to go up to auto autocracy if we reform this. Expand. Or is this going to take me to tier two? I, I don't know. But one or the other. Take control. Oh. Gain 15 government reform progress and 70 ducats. Gain one stability or 25 of each power. Okay, stability is always good. We'll grab some stability. We're only on zero anyway, so we should probably probably look to improve that. Free advisor. Uh, ooh, okay, so what is it? monthly increase. National focus plus two. Let's six five seven. That's a bit better. And then maybe I just get a one level level one advisor. Can I afford that? Let's get a level one advisor there, and that's just a better balance all round. Ten prestige or one stability. Of Francian heritage following the Jewish faith. Interesting. Jewish faith. Has that always been a part of EU4? I've just I, it just hit me like you never see Judaism as like an area on the map. I'm I feel like am I missing some dumb like some part of history? Am I being stupid? Is, was it like was it not around for a certain time? I feel like it was around a long time. Yeah, I know, I don't know, but it's obviously, it's, yeah, it's never part of the map, it, ju it just hit me, so that surprised me, I don't know, maybe there's a reason for that, I guess not having sort of a consolidated area would make sense, yeah, that's a bit, there you go, mind blown, um, someone said to not out be allied to Provence anymore, and I think it was try ally the papal state instead, or conquer them, so that was a good good old choice, but yeah, I guess we could break an alliance with Provence, I don't see that being too bad, I don't know, Maybe replace them with a Castile or Aragon. That's maybe not the best choice, but it would, you know, make me feel a heck of a lot better. Um, either of those would be accepting. And Aragon has Austria too. So, okay, yeah, let's dissolve this alliance with Provence. Boom, there we go. I think I still have a raw marriage with them, which might be an issue. Yeah, I do. Okay, never mind. Maybe should have waited, but never mind. We will consider that someone was, and then also was recommended I fight Brittany in the meantime they are allied to Castile so that won't be happening just yet until I'm a little bit stronger I don't think or until maybe Castile's busy 
but yeah, I'm not sure I'm keen on this. Oh, it does now tell you about the troops. This is really nice. I have not didn't know this before, but that's great. Now I know I would have an advantage. Is that is that incorporating Castile? Yes. Yeah, so okay, so we would have an advantage, but obviously the problem is I'm not bringing all those troops. I'd have to rely on all these guys <laughs> working together in perfect unity. <laughs> and something tells me I would be very bold to make that assumption that they would get that done. Castile is not in this war with Morocco. Oh, okay, I know Portugal is. Interesting. Yeah, okay, so I'm just trying to work out. So power structure, so tier one, tier two. So do you pick one? At each... Oh no, they are just reforms. So I assume we will just be going straight to autocracy here. Reforms available, zero, 77. Next reform tier. You'll unlock the next tier of government reforms. Okay, so I think it's just how many can you get through by 14th? I don't know. We'll figure it out as we go along. It's fine. We can... We'll be going along. It's all good. When we get... We'll worry about it when we get there. At the moment, we're not, we're not at 100. Just throw history on its head. Just ally England. I don't think that's an option. Sadly, no. Milan, yes. Naples could be an interesting one. The Papal State was recommended on the basis it would make us more friendly with the Papacy. Oh, they have some ally, uh, vassals. That's Oh, some of the newer nations are their vassals. Okay. Cool. Uh, the Ottomans ooh, are no longer protecting Serbia. Okay. That was an interesting observation. That's ended for whatever reason. Bosnia. Oh, Herzegovina. Yeah, they didn't survive. It was very short. Oh, no, they are still here. Just about. <laughs> but there's not much left. Croatia, that's kind of cool. I don't think I've seen that. Oh, they're a vassal of Hungary now. Interesting. Okay, right, France. What are we going to do? Dang it, Castile. We've seriously got to do this. <laughs> okay, I'm, not, I'm just not waiting. I really want to integrate some of these guys. Particularly Orlans, Orleans. Get them back involved. They're pretty... Pretty big part of all of this. You know, four province, five provinces now after I accidentally gave them one. So that would certainly be a big, big boost for us. Obviously, if we integrate everyone, we'll probably move back up the Great Powers list a little bit since only we're only getting half of the subjects development. So it'd be nice to climb again. Portugal is getting crushed by Morocco and Castile is just watching. I don't know what obviously the circumstances are, but there you go. <laughs> Not a good start for them. If Castile was in, I would probably consider going after Brittany. That's the thing, but they're not at the moment, so I won't do it. Also, I don't even know, do I have a claim? No, I should probably probably go about fabricating one. Build a spy network. There we go. Go ahead and start on that. Maybe it'd be worth allying Aragon. Um, I wouldn't be against it, but at the moment I have no diplomats. Aragon just declared a war on Naples with restoration of the Union. Um, someone, it was again, it was suggested to me that maybe it was a monarch death, makes plenty of sense I guess, that maybe Aragon's leader died or, sorry, yeah, Aragon's leader died or something and Naples broke free. But yeah, by the look of it, that's probably not going to last since I don't think Naples has any allies. Epirus, yeah, that's a small Greek nation. So yeah, Aragon will probably reconquer Naples here. So that was short-lived. The Italian Wars. Ooh, is that over already? No, I was going to say that was quick. That is not, not, not gone already. So when's the Royal Marriage end? That is my big... Oh, what's going to happen? National tax down, but nobility gain 10 loyalty. Or autonomy change up and bourgeoisie gain 10 loyalty. So it's negative either way. Okay, let's give the bourgeoisie more loyalty. They're pretty disloyal anyway at 40. That will help. Oh, we're going to get so close. So close to the reform. Oh, it looks so close in that. It's not so close here. We're getting there, though. New technology as well. Admin level 4. There we go. Making some moves. That's good. Good, good, good. How we look? Where is the institution? How's it spreading? How, how's it coming along? Uh, it started in northern Italy. It's, it's sort of spreading to some of our provinces. The Renaissance... Hopefully we get that nice and quickly, we can embrace it, deal with those tech penalties nice and early. And Provence is already dying. This could have been a big mistake. <laughs> Hopefully not. Right, 
can I... What's the penalty again for breaking a royal tie? I can't even do it because I have a diplomat. Hang on. There we go. Let's, let's see what it says. Break royal ties. One prestige, one stability. That's fine. We'll, we'll break that. And in return, I will ally Aragon, who's actually managing to lose to Naples. And that should make us feel a lot safer. There we go. Aragon. And they are probably far more... Going to be far more useful. I'm sure they'd be up for fighting... Nope, they wouldn't be up for it. Never mind. Screw you. Well, they are in a war. Maybe after that war, they'll be willing to help us out. But it doesn't matter just yet. I'm still trying to... Still trying to fabricate this claim. I'll need 20 to get that done. But yeah, if we can conquer Brittany nice and early, get a few provinces, that'll be useful for England or somebody else gets them, I guess. Do -do 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 -do. Right. So we want to basically make our borders up to sort of, up to it. Basically anything that isn't in the HRE we want. I think that's going to be our approach. Um, and obviously down to sort of here for, for in terms of France. And yeah, and then we'll go and around the rest of the world and add whatever we can find, I guess. Oh, so close, 96 out of 100. Expand, admit. Oh, you can spend 20 reform progress to gain the follow. Oh, okay. So we could actually spend more points to do other things. We won't do that just yet, but fair enough. That, that, that was a separate thing altogether. I don't think we actually pick. I think this just hits 100 and it happens. So that's fair enough. Right, Brittany. Diplomacy. Fabricate claim. There we go. We have a claim. Nice. We also have military technology level 4. Okay, right. What did I want to do now? I want to... Is Aragon finished yet? No. As soon as they're done, I will begin the invasion. I mean, I'm sure we can win anyway, but let's be patient, not rush anything. If there's a chance Aragon joins, that would be fantastic. So yeah, that should work. Is this manpower? Yes, yeah, so this is like total troops and manpower. And this is 34, 10, yeah, 12. So we definitely have an advantage here. We are much stronger. About 12,000, oh no, it's close. I feel like focusing on Brittany should be able to quickly get rid of them. But yeah, I mean, we may as well wait for Aragon if they're interested. I feel, oh, Provence is so screwed. They are struggling big time. They did pick up some allies, but yeah, Burgundy having a good time at the moment, which is not good because we will have to slowly chip away at Burgundy. We can enact a government reform. Can I just pick any of these? Is that, I think so. So I could autocracy here will remove 50 reform progress but it will give us unjustified demands minus 10 percent okay but i think we already have one of these that's what's good i think i should pick one of these two right i might be wrong spend one of your upgrades to select one of the options so this will increase tax and reduce nobility influence i think we need that that's probably a good thing our nobility influence was very high that sounds like a perfect option to reduce their influence Get some more money too, so that's good. And we've been excommunicated. Thank you. Thank you. Really appreciate that. Don't know why. Don't know what I've done. Papal state. I will improve relations with you. Let's uh, let's let's stop minus two hundred. What did I do to you? That's because I'm excommunicated. Well, that is just backwards logic. How does that even work? You can't just not like me because of something you did to me. That that's not how this works. <laughs> not sure. Not sure what's going on there. That seems a bit harsh, but there we go. We'll, we'll accept it, I guess. What should we do? And yeah, Burgundy pieces out. They look like they grew a little bit out this way. Just, just a little bit. They look giant now. Come on, Aragon. Can you hurry up, please? How are you losing this? That is the question. What are you on earth are you managing to do? They both seem pretty equal in strength, to be honest. So it does kind of make sense, but whatever. Or if Castile could just get into a giant war with somebody, that would help. They actually got forced to break their alliance with Portugal. Which is pretty big. Pretty bad for them. But yeah, I imagine Aragon will be coming out on top. They're allied to Austria too, and Savoy. They have Navarra as a vassal, and they might get Naples back under a union. So yeah, Aragon's going to be much stronger than Castile. So yeah, that's probably, I feel like, the right the right person to back. Obviously we don't want to make them too strong. We don't want to help them out too much because we know it can end up badly too. 
Scotland. We are also using one of our uh, slots to guarantee Scotland. Uh, I guess we'll do it for now. Obviously, once England's kicked out of France, there's no real need to protect Scotland anymore. It's just we can't really do anything. I'm not going to have the naval power and probably to cross over. So we'll probably just accept it later on. Right, did I unlock a new building? Whoa, they've messed with everything. Why have they done this? States. Ugh, what have they done to all of this? Right, let's get some of these. One, two, three. That'll do. Increase our trade power nicely. Geneva has now designated into... Oh, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Armanac just insulted us. Are you serious? I just spent like so long improving. We have over 200 relations. What are you on about? There you go. The former march. Wait, what? Geneva has now been designated into a vassal again. Oh, okay, so Savoy had Geneva as a march, but now they're a vassal. So Savoy will probably be trying to integrate them. That's what that would suggest. So many new people. Woolgast. Stettin. No more Pomerania. Denmark still in charge of everyone over here, yep. Everyone seems to have more diplomatic options. I don't know if that's just... Is that something? Everyone seems to have loads more allies than normal. Right, accept demands. Lose 10 prestige. Lose 5 prestige. Lose 50 admin. There we go, we'll lose the admin power. It's all good. Right, come on, Aragon, hurry up. <laughs> they probably won't join in anyway, but... It's, it'd probably be worth the wait. I don't want to... I don't want to mess this up. Cases Belli expiring. Oh no, it's not the right. It's not the one I'm thinking of. It's all good. All is well. Declare statute in restraint of appeals. Everyone's opinion will drop. I will gain 10 prestige. Catholicism will gain 1% reform desire. Unrest will go down. Stability down. Prestige up. Clergy loyalty equilibrium. I might do this in the future. But for now. I actually have something else we can start doing. I believe. I believe we could start to annex Orleans or Orleans. So we'll go ahead and get that process underway. This is our first vassal to be to be annexed. 1.2% a month. Are you serious? Oh, we should have started with the smaller ones. <laughs> Backfired horrifically. There we go. Maybe a bit off more than I can chew. Maybe we'll... Are you guys... Is this Armanac? No. All Vern. Okay. Maybe we'll try improve relations with them while we're here. Uh, no. I'm still trying to get the Papal State to stop hating me. We'll wait a bit. Yeah, so Aragon should get Naples back. It's a bit of normality restored. A lot of rebels for England. Hopefully they don't come over here. What is this? A mar Oh, I thought that was something to do with the troops. No, it's just a marketplace. Being finished. 4.9%. Okay, that's not too bad. 5% in like a 30 seconds. That's... Should be done, sort of next episode, so yeah, that's fine. Good, oh, the king is just. National unrest minus two, that's really good. I'll take that, that's certainly, yeah, that's certainly a good, good bit of news. Oh, we're below England, that, that can't be, that can't stay for too long. We need to, we need to get that up. Need to pump those numbers up. 7.3%. Come on, you can do this. Nice and quick. If we can get to like 10 before the end of this episode, we'll be in good position. 8.6%. Nice. It's, it's ticking up. Nice and... Not as slow as I was thinking it was. That That's something. That's really good. Come on. 9.8%. Yeah, there we go. It's going. It's, it's going up. It's on its way up. I like that. Okay, right. Papal States versus Provence. Oh, I feel bad for Provence. I just fed them to the wolves, haven't I? They are not going to have a good time, I feel, for the rest of this game. Probably won't be around for too long. They do have that one province within my sort of territory. That'll be fairly safe. Till England comes after them, of course, then they are... Then they're in big trouble. 12.2%. It's getting there. But that will be it for this episode. Next episode we'll have some more going on. Hopefully the annexation of Orleans or Orleans might be completed at some point. And we'll be going after Brittany. Probably regardless of what Aragon is up to. They should have hopefully pieced out by then. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. As always, if you have enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Be sure to subscribe as well if you're new to the channel. I'll see you in the next one.